All right, Sean, what's on the agenda today for the first day of actual work on this rig? Yeah, so we got the Mercedes uh, 3500, it's 2012, 170 extended wheelbase, and today we're gonna be doing all our cable routing. So we're gonna do alternator, uh, communication cables, solar cables, um, and chassis ground. Right on, look forward to seeing it. All right, I'm here with Sean. Uh, he just finished routing some wire under the, uh, under the van here. And uh, what, what do you have? It comes out underneath the seat? Yeah, there's What's a little, this, this is basically our alternator charging. So this is gonna be our two watt cable and then a couple uh, 18 two cables that go along with it on the same route that's uh, used for our uh, momentary switch to temporarily combine the two battery banks. Okay. They have a factory uh, port that goes out. All their factory cables go straight down there. Um, it's a little like rubber boot that's zip tied closed. So we exit just with their factory cables. Um, do about a 25 foot run and then I'll show you but it comes up right before the wheel well in the back uh, portion of the van here. Let's walk over there. Yep. All right. So the cable actually comes up right here. Oh, okay. We, That's we, easy. We want to do that because it's before the wheel well so we don't have to go over all the um, rotating axle and wheels and whatnot. It's just easier on the cables. Uh -huh. And then there's a little spot that we can actually sneak the cable through up above this A-frame that requires no holes to be drilled and then it'll pop out this side here. So uh, this is that same same cable with the 18 twos that come from uh, underneath the seat there. Excellent. Thank you. Yep. It looks comfortable. What are you doing? <laughs> so we're basically following. This is a factory, uh, some kind of cables that they're running. Okay. We're trying to secure it, our cable as much as we can because it's a heavier cable. So they have these P clamps that go along and we're going to go along and, and follow those adding zip ties to kind of tandem up with this cable. Okay. And then anywhere that we feel it's not, uh, you know, strong enough, we're going to add more of our mounts. So that's usually in the form of a zip tie or a uh, tie base that you can mount and then zip tie through that. All right, sounds fun. <laughs> Glad there's no spiders in this rig like the last <laughs> one. All right, I got Dustin here up on the roof. He's installing the combiner box. He drilled the hole through the roof and he routed the six gauge duplex. He put a little piece of uh, split loom around the cable to keep the roof from scratching the cable and ripping it open. Um, this is held in place by, uh, what'd you do, the 3M tape on the back? About a full foot, 12 inches of 3M tape on the bottom. Yeah. Okay, so we've got two strips and then one strip there. Yep. Um, you're not going to use this mounting hole. No. You don't need to on this kind of metal roof. Um, you're going to uh, use this putty tape here to kind of seal up the hole. Build up a, a dam around there to keep uh, dike ore from flowing down into the roof. Then after you build up the dam with that clay-like stuff, you're going to uh, fill in the reservoir with dike ore. Okay, and then we'll do uh, a border of Secoflex around the whole okay. sea box to prevent moisture from getting in or underneath it. Okay, and it adds to a little bit of the bonding process with the adhesive that it has. Okay, and then uh, the red goes to positive, black to negative, and then yep. you've got your two panels are going to come in here and here. Yep, and then I'll have an extra so he can expand his system with another panel. Okay. And that'll be capped off with a little piece of tin too and some heat shrink over it. Okay. Will panels be installed over the combiner box? Yep, we're gonna have two side by side right here. The C box will be completely covered. Helps a little bit of weather protection. And then he's free to put an air conditioner in the back, a fan vent on front, and then another 100 watt panel wherever he would like to do so. All right, I'll let you get back at it. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right, here's the inside of the van. Uh, you can see the split loom going around the six gauge duplex cable up into the combiner box. And uh, that putty tape that Dustin's doing is gonna go all around this to keep the die core from flowing down into the rig. We've routed the six gauge duplex through here down to where the batteries are gonna be, where the charge controller and uh, master switch are going to be. All right, we got James here working on the roof of the van. What do we put up here, James? Uh, we're putting up 270 watt panels in parallel. These are nice panels. Uh, what are they? They're Zamp panels made here in Bend, Oregon. Okay. What's your uh, what 
What stage of the process are you in right now? Um, right now we're sitting down the feet. We've um, figured out where we want the panels, measured it all out, and made sure that um, they both can tilt and uh, that we got plenty of clearance on the side. All right, and uh, sounds like there's going to be like a fan up front and an air uh -huh. conditioner in back, so that's yep. why they're kind of in the middle. Yep. All right, thanks for the info. Thank you. All right, check it out. The mount feet have been sealed with Cicaflex. The whole foot is buried, and if you look real close, you can see that the combiner box back there also has Cicaflex around it. So All right, this, what are you doing here, Sean? You making like, something out of cardboard? Yeah, this is gonna be a cardboard template. Um, you can kind of see here, this is actually the zone we're gonna build the system in. And so we want to uh, create a template out of cardboard so I can transfer that and build it out of uh, three quarter inch plywood. We have this kind of interesting arc here that's created by the uh, wheel well and some other kind of bumps in the, in the floor. So I'm gonna create a template here, mimic that onto the uh, plywood and then mount the plywood. Sounds like a plan. Yep. So Sean, I was here two hours ago and it looks like you've uh, not accomplished much. What's going on? Yeah, and, uh, sometimes it seems like you're not going very far. We've, uh, we've added one cable, which represents a lot of work, but it uh, took us a couple hours. Okay, well <laughs> as long as you do it right. <laughs> so Sean, you installed some communication cables. Yeah, so we're going to have two monitors located up in this front little bay here. Uh, that's where he's going to go to look at all his information. So we have a uh, RJ45, an RJ11, and an 18-2 cable. They run along the channel, they drop down the same uh, channel that the solar actually comes down, okay. and then they pop out right here. So you can kind of tell we're starting to get a big bundle of all our cables coming to where we need to be. This is just the newest one. <laughs> all right. Looks good. Yeah. All right, Sean, how did it go today? Good. You got, uh, we got all our cables here. We got solar. Um, this is our chassis ground. Uh, alternator with its uh, couple AT2s and all our comms. So we're pretty much all routed. Um, and tomorrow we're going to build our board that is going to house most of the componentry. All right. Sounds good. See you tomorrow.